hey besties welcome to my channel my name is charlotte if you are new here if you already know who i am thank you for returning if you are new we do book stuff over here so we do reading vlogs i like to read a lot and that is what we talk about and today is no different we are doing a tbr video and we're doing a bit of a twist so i have my tbr jar but we're also doing a bit of a subscribers pick my reads as well so my idea is i'm gonna pick five prompts so we're gonna we're gonna find five books for my tbr in this video and then there's some other books that i will be reading throughout the month as well these are just five on my tbr that i would like to get to we're gonna use the tbr jar to pick out prompts and then for each prompt i'm going to pick two books and then i'm going to post a story where we have a little picture of the book where you can't see the cover we just do some emojis and then you guys or those of you who follow my books instagram will have picked my reads so let's jump straight into it i also do have my kindle here because i think i still have some books left that i downloaded that i want to read and also just some kindle unlimited books in case there's something that just isn't quite taking my fancy i do always like to make sure that i am reading like a kindle limited book every month so that my like subscription is worthwhile anyway let's pick our first prompt so we'll give it a shake and then oh this is a big one okay this is one that i just didn't cut okay we have a classic oh okay there's two classics that I currently have on my TBR. Okay, so these are the only two classics like on my TBR currently. So very handy. This is a, so the first one is a book that I have read, but I would say it's one of my favorite books and I kind of want to do a reread of it because it's also like a super short book. So it'll be a nice quick read to get that Goodreads going. And it is The Catcher in the Rye. This is about Holden Caulfield, who is basically like a teenage boy at a prep school. We kind of just follow him, like living his life, like he's, pretty privileged not a huge amount like aware of his privilege he's very much like an unreliable narrator yeah absolutely love this book i think it's amazing so that is option number one and option number two is a recent purchase and it's nothing abbey by jane austen so another super short book this is about catherine morland it tells the story of catherine morland she's naive charming and obsessed with reading gothic romance and horror when Catherine is invited to stay at her new friend's grand house, Northanger Abbey, with its mysterious suite of sealed-off rooms, her melodramatic imagination threatens to run away with her. As comic misunderstandings ensue, she comes to understand the gap between fantasy and reality, false friends and true feelings. So, sounds super fun, super interesting, I guess, kind of with like her obsession with the gothic books very fitting for the autumn month. As we can tell, I am using so much artificial lighting right now because it is so dark. <laughs> so definitely giving autumn vibe so let's get a little story going okay so we have our kind of like covers that we have made all blank and now to pick the emojis so for Northanger Abbey I'm gonna stick with the key theme that is on the cover so I'm gonna use the key emoji um I don't know what emoji to use for Catcher in the Rye I'm gonna see if they have like a, hun a red hunting hat or like any kind of red hat Oh, I'm gonna do a duck because I'm pretty sure there's a big thing to do with the ducks in Central Park, which is also a Gossip Girl theme. Interesting, very interesting. But we'll do a little duck emoji. I feel like no one is gonna be able to pick like what these books even are, so that's gonna be fun. And then we're gonna do the poll. Hopefully people vote, otherwise I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, our first story is up and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave these for a day just because like on my books i literally have 140 followers like i do not have many followers so i want to give it a fair chance basically to to pick the book so we'll come back tomorrow to show you what was picked so this is our first choice let's pick another prompt okay A TBR veteran. Okay, so a book that's been on my TBR for a really long time. Okay, okay, okay. There's definitely some on that side of my own been on my TBR for longer. Okay, we have two very, very different vibes for this book. So the first one we have has been on my TBR for a really, really long time. And it's The Man I Never Met by Elle Kirk. So this is 
about I think like a guy basically missed out with a number and he gets he lives in Texas and Hannah lives in London and he missed dials and calls Hannah and then they end up speaking on the phone quite a bit. Davy then ends up getting a job in London where Hannah lives. So messaging turns into video and call and it feels like the start of something. But then Hannah's waiting for Davy at the airport and he just never walks into arrivals. And then when Hannah finds out why, her world is turned on on its head. And with her future so uncertain each must pick up the pieces of their lives so yeah not too sure this sounds quite interesting not sure why i've not read it <laughs> and then the other book is a i think it's like a historical war maybe a romance just like a historical fiction this is a really long blurb i'm not going to read it out oh, okay so it's basically about a lady that is looking back on her life and she's survived like the occupation the civil war all of these different things i think so yeah potentially could be an interesting one again been on my tv at a longer longish time but i've just not picked it up so let's get the story going so emoji wise for the man i never met let's see if they is there like a sofa emoji yes that is so we're gonna do the sofa emoji for the man i never met because you know it's kind of giving the cover and then the cover of those who are loved has like a little bird on the front so i think maybe we just play into the little bird because i don't really know how else to do this one so yeah we'll go for the bird i feel like i'm kind of making them similarish to what the covers are like because i don't know about you guys but when i vote on these polls i'm never like voting unless it's really obvious what the book is like sometimes you see powerless in it and it's like a purple like draw like yeah drawing with a, like a dagger or something this is powerless i'm gonna vote for that of course i want everyone to read it but for the most part i don't try and figure out what the books are i just like to vote based off of like what the vibe looks like so yeah definitely think that that is our next one i need to add the poll otherwise people can't vote okay let's pick our next prompt Okay, one fell out. We're gonna just go with the one that fell out because I feel like that's a sign. A hardback. Oh, do I even have? Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. Okay, we're gonna repick because I only have a series that are hardbacks, and I've said before the series that I have as hardbacks is Prior of the Orange Tree and A Day of Fallen Night, and like I've think i've said before that i don't want to put those books ever ever on a tbr because i know that i probably won't get to them to me they are a oh i finished my goodreads goal i'm gonna just pick this book up i have like 12 days off at the end of this year start of next year and i think i might use that time for those or throne of glass i'm not too sure which ones yet but yeah i'm gonna leave that out whilst i just don't really have any hardbacks on my tbr A book with a great first sentence. Okay, I think we got this last time, so that was exciting. Let's try and find one. Okay, I've picked two for this. They are wildly different. We have Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young, and then we have Legendary, which is the second book in the Caravel series. So we'll start with the first sentence of Out on a Limb, so you can hear, hear it. <laughs> so you know it's a good sentence. Did you know this song might be about an orgy? I asked the witch standing next to the punch bowl, pointing toward the speaker. Love. Set the scene straight away. And then the first sentence of Legendary is, While well, some rooms on the estate had monsters hiding beneath the beds, Tella swore her mother's sweet concealed enchantment. Pretty interesting. So let's get our story ready for these two books okay we have our little drawings so i think for legendary we're going to use a little castle emoji because we have the lovely castle on the front i feel like it just goes with the the vibe of the cover nicely the castle emoji actually really really fits as well because it's literally grey with like red roof like very much giving the cover of Car Caravelle and then for out of a limb out on a limb sorry 
they have like this little plant like on the spine and then there's a couple of plants in the background so i feel like maybe plants are a big part of like the characters lives um so i'm gonna put a plant emoji okay we have our story ready to go okay so that is three prompts in two more to go let's give her a shake hopefully we get something good that i have books for I think I picked up more than one. Okay, we've got our prompt. Set on a different continent, okay. So if you cannot tell from the accent, I live in the UK, which means I live in the continent of Europe. So we're looking for anything that is sent, set on a continent that isn't Europe. So obviously fantasies that may not be set in like the the real world at all and then obviously we have our romances and our fictions that will be set kind of in america australia africa asia south america antarctica but yeah so i think i'm gonna pick a fantasy just because i don't have too many fantasies on this list at the moment and i'm definitely in like a, a fantasy mood so although i don't really have too many Okay, so I'm going to go for Ninth House by Lee Bardugo because this is set at the University of Yale, which is very much not in the UK at all. Okay, and then I think we might need to... I'm going to have a look on my Kindle, actually, and take a look at some different books. Okay, so for my Kindle book, we're going to say... Oh, it's not... It's not cooperating. Give me the cover. We're going to give Serpent and the Wings of Night, so that means we have Ninth House and Serpent of the Wings of Night, which means I really don't know what emoji I'm going to use, because I was thinking I'd use a snake for this, but this also has a snake, so I'm not too sure. Okay, we have our little drawings, so I think obviously Serpent and Wings of Night, we need we need the snake, like the, it's in the title, it would be really wrong not to. And then I think before Ninth House we lean into the Dark Academia, so I'm going to look at kind of the school emoji. I'm going to search Academia. Okay, we're going to search school. Maybe we search University. Oh, we can put like a little graduation cap. I feel like that, that fits the theme. Maybe. Yeah, we've got our little graduation cap and a little snake emoji and now we'll add our pole okay so we have one two three four we're our last one this is exciting what kind of book do we think we're gonna get or what kind of prompt do we think we're gonna get oh it's a chunky one over 500 pages okay that means we have a lot of choice i think um or maybe we don't Okay, so five broken blades I just picked up. That's not 500 pages. So we could do Sword Capture by Cassandra Clare because this is 600 something pages. So, okay, that will be option one. And then, very different vibe. I'm pretty sure All Roads Lead Here is, is over 500 pages. Yes, 540. So our two choices are going to be Sword Catcher and all roads lead here. Okay, our drawings are done. So emoji wise, I think we're gonna go with obvious choices here. All roads lead here. I think we need the road emoji, which I hope that is. If memory tells me that there is a road emoji. Okay, so there is a road emoji. It's not the best. In my mind, I thought this one was like, just like a straight road, but apparently not. And then obviously sword catcher, like we have to use a sword emoji. Like I feel like there is no other emoji we could use. Okay. And that is our last story, our last book. So I am going to keep these all to one side. I've got the pictures in my camera roll, but I will check back in with you tomorrow and we can see what the outcome is. I'm really excited to see. I've been there have been some votes already and I'm looking forward to seeing how it changes throughout the next like probably I won't do a full 24 hours but like over the next kind of few hours I guess. Okay we are back and it is actually pretty much 24 hours later because one of the 
options has been stuck on like was stuck on 50 50 for ages so i was like okay i need to give like a longer amount of time so we can hopefully get this off of 50 50 otherwise i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i guess i'll just have to choose myself or something but let's get started so the first option we had was between northanger abbey and the catcher in the rye and the poll is 61% for Northanger Abbey, 39% for the catcher in the rye. Wait, I'm trying to figure out ways to show you. So we will in fact be reading Northanger Abbey. So Northanger Abbey is the first book on our TBR. I don't know if you'll be able to see. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I can okay over here and then we can do a nice little pile okay so the second options were between those who were loved by Victoria Hislop and the man I never met and these two were the ones that were tied for a really really long time and those who are loved has pushed ahead so we've got 48% to The Man I Never At, The Man I Never At, whoa, different kind of book. Um, so yeah, 48% to The Man I Never Met and then 52% to Those Who Are Loved. So we'll be adding Those Who Are Loved to our TBR this month. Okay, and then next up we had Out on a Limb versus Caravel, well, book two in Caravel Legendary by Stephanie Garber and Carav uh, I don't know why I keep calling it Caravel. Legendary has won. So Legendary got 67% of the vote with Out on a Limb getting only 33%, which is crazy because I low-key feel like if you guys knew that it was Out on a Limb, maybe that would have been higher because I feel like that's a really popular book at the moment. So this is so interesting, but we have Legendary. And then our next choice was between Ninth House and The Serpent and the Wings of Night, which is on my Kindle. However, I've just filmed another video talking about Crimson Moth, so she's not on the display right now. But The uh, the Crimson Moth, but The Serpent and the Wings of the Night won with, with a 59% to 41%. This one I was really unsure of um, what was the result was going to be because for so, so long, Ninth House was in the lead. But no, she has been defeated. So we're going to add the Serpent and the Wings of Night to our TBR. And then lastly, we have All Roads Lead Here by Marie Mariana Zapetta and Soul Catcher by Cassandra Clare. And All Roads Lead, Lead Here, yeah, All Roads Lead Here has won by 43%. Really small margins on this one. So, yeah, very, very small margins. But those are our five books so to go over them we have northanger abbey by jane austen those who are loved by victoria hislop legendary by stephanie garber all roads lead here by mariana Cepeta, and the serpent and the wings of night by carissa broadband broadbent those are our five tbr books of the month i've also just had the box set of throne of glass come today so we'll be starting my throne of glass journey soon and then there's some new releases that i'm really looking forward to in november as well so we've got sky shade which is part of the light lark series and then we also have the third book in like the swift and saddled series the rebel blue ranch series lost and lessoed i think which I'm really excited about. I think that's an Enemies to Lovers, which we love. So yeah, lots of books to read this month. I'm 15 away from my Goodreads goal. Very excited to get into it. I've got the last week of November off. So hopefully that gives us a good amount of time. But I am gonna wrap this video up here. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know which book you are most excited for me to read and which ones you would like in reading vlogs and I will see what I can do. But that is everything from me. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye!